Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jason with Jatter and Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me in the fish room again. So today we are going to have part three of the fish room tour. This time we are all completely done with the 40 gallons. We're gonna move on to the 20s and the uh, 10 gallons that we have. But before that, if you guys missed the video that I released on Saturday and you need a good laugh, especially with all the insanity that's going on in the world, I'm gonna link this thing above. Basically, it's a bunch of really funny fish videos that I found, and I make some funny commentary to go along with it. So if you guys didn't see that, be sure and click on that video above, and after you watch it, just tell me what you think about it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's go, and let's check out the rest of the tanks. All right, first tank we have here is a 20 gallon long. Uh, these are the Dumbo Red uh, Mosaic Guppies. Uh, these are some of my favorite uh, guppies that I have. Um, I've actually got these in two tanks right now, um, just in fear of losing them in one tank. Uh, these guys are just absolutely just beautiful, and they breed really, really true. Uh, you'll also see in here there's a bunch of uh, fantasy blue shrimp. Uh, again, in almost all my tanks, I have all sorts of shrimp um, growing and breeding and, and stuff in those also. Next tank we have is another uh, 20 gallon long. Uh, these are all uh, shocking pink inlers. As you can see, there's about, about a million fry in this thing. But some of these ones, some of these males, they are just, just cool looking. I'm, I'm kind of getting out of inlers, but these are actually some of the ones that I still really think are really cool looking. All right, here we have a, another 20 gallon long. Uh, these are the Dumbo uh, Albino Red uh, Blue Ear uh, Guppies. Uh, this is a trio that I bought, I don't know, six or eight months back. I usually don't have very good luck with albinos. Uh, these seem to be doing a lot better uh, than some of the other ones that I've had before. That male's tail is all torn up for some reason. I don't know who's been messing with him, but you can see there's quite a few fry in here. Uh, you'll also notice there's a tremendous amount of hair algae in here. And usually in most of my tanks, I, I remove it. But if you notice, there's so many shrimp that are in here. And if you ever want to have a successful Neo uh, Caradina shrimp, uh, let the hair algae grow. They absolutely love it. There is so much stuff for them to feed on it that they just reproduce like crazy and it gives them a place to hide so they almost never get eaten. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I went ahead and just left uh, this hair algae in here. And uh, I'll, I'll keep it contained at about this much, but that's it. Here's another uh, guppy that I love. These are the purple mosaic dumbos. Um, again, you'll notice that the females uh, have just as beautiful tails uh, as the males. You'll see a few of them that are starting to get some red tails on them. Um, I need to cull those out into another tank so these things kind of uh, try to keep their uh, their true colors. But this is another just beautiful guppy. And another one, as you can see, uh, it's one I just started with, uh, I think I only started with one trio of these. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of them now. Here's a, another 20 gallon long. Uh, this is just a, a mutt. <laughs> Uh, guppy tank. These are a lot of the ones that I had in the uh, uh, summer pond out, outdoors last year. So I just kind of uh, threw them in here. I don't have any idea what the plans are um, for these. If you guys are enjoying this video, would you take a second and click that like button for me? And if you've never subscribed to my channel, this would be a great time and would be so helpful if you guys would just take a second and click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a penny. All right, here we have another 20 gallon long. Uh, this is my Leo, Neo Lamprologus uh, uh, Cotopontatus uh, tank. Um, these are ones that I haven't had for uh, a tremendous amount of long time. These are the ones I got from my friend Papa Shrimp when his uh, house uh, burnt. Uh, he needed a place to keep these. And so now these fish have become uh, some of my favorite fish. And the problem is, is the area that I have them in in the fish room is a real tight spot that I hate getting into. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move these guys into a better, a, a better tank so I have more access to them and I can keep an eye on them uh, even more. 
These guys had fry uh, the other day that I went ahead and removed and have been uh, feeding. Uh, they'll typically you know, raise their own fry, but I wanted to make sure that they were getting enough food. And I left about seven or eight fry in here and uh, I've yet to see them. So I don't know if they got eaten, which I'm assuming must have happened. But these are another uh, shell dweller. These things are just cool. And uh, obviously I want to take the tank and, and put a bunch of more hides for, for them. Build some rock structures and stuff for them. Instead of just this plain Jane tank where the hair algae is trying to take over. All right, so some of these next tanks, these are some of the breeding project tanks that I've got going on. Uh, these are the Vieta Gold. These are a uh, breeding pair that I have going. Well, I say breeding pair. I'm trying to get them to breed. Uh, they've yet to earn that status yet. Uh, I've been trying all the different tricks and stuff that comes along with uh, uh, breeding epistogrammas, but I've yet to have uh, any luck whatsoever. Next tank. Uh, these guys, I don't want to move too fast because these guys are so shy. Uh, these are called Merry Widows. These are a, a live bear. Um, I think I saw that they're from the Poesia family, the same as the Guppies. And so this is another breeding project. I have these guys in here alone. Again, I've told you guys before that I'm doing the, uh, the breeder award program, so I'm trying to breed as much stuff as I possibly can. So I've got a lot of species only tanks right now. There's a picture of one of them. This tank beside it here, these are the uh, humpback limias. Uh, this is a, another uh, live bear. Um, this is the female right here. The humpback name comes from the male, which is hiding because he's got kind of this big humpback on his back. This tank right here, you guys may remember these. I did a video back. Uh, with the red eye, breeding the red eye tetras. These are all the fry from that. Um, these guys uh, were born on August uh, 24th. And you can see right now they're about an inch long. Um, there's also, there's a couple of koi angel fry that have been growing up with them in there also. But as you can see, these guys are doing really, really well and growing really, really fast. Uh, here's another 10-gallon. This is another grow-out tank. Um, I've got kind of a mixture of stuff in here. I have so many different things breeding that occasionally I'll get something that'll be born and it's mixed in with something else and I don't know why. And so it's not until it grows out until I figure out what the heck that it is. Um, but in this tank, there's some more of the, the, the Neolamprologus uh, babies that are in here. That's the white ones you see down at the bottom. And then uh, there's a bunch of the, uh, back there in the back, those are the, uh, the uh, ruby black uh, barbs. Um, those two that are kind of together there, those are, I think those are the gold pristellas. Um, I thought I had a bunch of those that, that, that uh, hatched, but apparently I only have, oh, maybe there's another one. Looks like there's three of those guys uh, in there. Then there's a, a few a bristle nose fry in there also. Uh, here's another a grow out tank, another 10 gallon. Uh, these are all uh, Bosmani rainbows. Uh, these guys were uh, also born uh, the uh, early part of August. Did I say August 24th on the, I meant August, I think I meant August 4th. On the red eye tetra, I should have said June. 24th, not August 24th. <laughs> ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so uh, these guys are doing great, growing out uh, quickly. And uh, no, that's a lie. They're not growing out quickly because rainbow fish do not grow out uh, quickly at all. But I think these guys are just a little bit shy of being a, a month old. Uh, here's another breeding product I got. I've got going with some black skirt tetras. Uh, these guys have yet to uh, lay any eggs for me. In here we've got some, uh, I got a pair of breeding uh, honey gouramis. Um, they just built a bubble nest about three or four days ago. I can't tell if they laid eggs. I just, I'm not sure because this female is massive and she just has, she just looks like she's still full of eggs. So I don't know what the heck's going on there. The male is just constantly, he's hard to see right now, but he's just constantly staring up into the sky 
trying to see what's going on with the eggs or fry or whatever's going on. Uh, more breeding project. We've got some uh, Sterabi quarries in here. The one next to it, we've got uh, skunk quarries going in there. In here, we've got uh, threadfin rainbows. Uh, these guys are a, still, I think, are just a little bit too young uh, to breed because I've yet to see any eggs. And then we'll finish up up over here. This is the uh, the brand new uh, stand that I built. Um, I've got two 40 gallon breeders on here. I don't currently have any fish in there yet because I'm not 100% sure where my plans are. I think in this middle tank, I'm gonna put uh, all my different rainbow fish in there. And then on top, uh, these are all uh, egg hatcheries for all the uh, rainbow fish. That's why you see all the spawning uh, mobs in there and you see the dates on the corner and stuff. And there's, they're hard to see, but there's in that, this is Australian rainbows. There's, I don't know, four or 500 babies that are swimming absolutely all around. All right, there you go. There is the uh, end of this fish room tour, number three. I have enough tanks to do one more, and then I'm also gonna do a shrimp room tour where I'll go over all my uh, shrimp tanks. You guys got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.